they're not going to have to. That clock That's just it. kept running. That's going to be it. They will not have to punt. With 16 seconds left, they'd have 25 to get the play underway. And Rocky Felker is telling them to stay on the field. Don't opening play. toss, and they'll be receiving. Coming in with a record of two wins and three losses. Tennessee's record is now one and two. The Vols won their first game over New Mexico, like UTEP, a member of the Western Athletic Conference. Being played on the new surface at Shields Watkins Field, the first year that Tennessee's playing on this all-pro surface. Here's the kick, and the game is underway. And it will be taken by Evans, bringing the ball back upfield, and he is drilled as he gets up close to the 23-yard line. So it will be first down at 10 to go. That was Parker, not Evans, returning the kickoff. And at quarterback will be Sammy Garza, number 15, Harvey and Bonds, the running backs. That's Bonds. And he picks up close to four yards on the play before he's knocked down by McDaniels of Tennessee. The volunteer is going defensively with Kimbrough. That's Charles Kimbrough. Bennett, Hunt, Hovannik, Jones, Ziegler, Miller, McDaniel, Peppers, Davis, and Kramer in the secondary. Second down. Pass complete. There's the tight end. And that was Arnie Atkinson making his 13th catch of the year, his first of this game, and it's first down and 10. Bill? Good throw there. Coming out first throw of the ball game. He just steps up and hits a quick slant right in between everyone. Nice catch by the big end, and you pick up the first yard, first down yardage. And there's Tennessee's leading tackler on the year, Cherry McDaniel, making another stop. This time El Paso tries the middle with Bonds again. Dale Jones, 54 there defensively for Tennessee on the stop. Number one is Kramer, you see, walking out of your picture. There he is, Tommy Bonds, who is averaging 3.4 yards per carry. He's from Harlingen, Texas, a senior. And that is exactly where the quarterback, Garza, is from. Harlingen, Texas. Garza, pass, complete again. Mixing the plays. This time it's Collins for a seven-yard gain and a first down. Just a little short dump pattern there. The linebackers are backing out, and uh, you can see the receiver just coming in right in front and underneath the linebackers, just drop it over. Hunt tried to swat the ball down, but it was over his outstretched fingertips. The tackle is made there by Tennessee's Miller. And it will be first down and 10. Nothing to nothing to score. But El Paso is moving. Into the eye formation this time. Harvey. Slants over tackle. Hovannik, 59, 49 Ziegler, 74 Hunt. A little bit of a draw play this time. I think we get the rerun here. He just brings it up. Tennessee's not having any part of it. Play it very well. Good position there. No place for him to go. It will be second down and seven at midfield. Nothing, nothing first quarter. Sunny day in Knoxville as Garza takes the long count. Here's the pass. It's complete. That's Clay Parker breaking a tackle. And then Tennessee reacts with McDaniel, 86. 13 is David Poole as the balls have five backs in the game at this point. And the reception by Parker is good for nine, and it's another first down. They've got a lot of people over here in this zone, and I don't know whether the Parker was the intended receiver or not. Looks like he had a man coming right in front of him trying to make the catch, but uh, anyway, they complete it for the first down. Three first downs for the Texas El Paso Miners. Garza caught. That's Parker again going to the opposite sideline, to the east side as the Miners are heading north to south at Shields Watkins Field, a gain of eight. Just a simple sprint out here, trying to push the defensive half back, back and then just turn it off to the sidelines, and he hits him right on the sideline. Pepper shoves him out of bounds, but it's second down and two. El Paso. Very effective on the ground and the air, working well, both ends of the offensive strategy and this time the pitch goes to Harvey not a whole lot but he only needed two yards let's see if he picks it up Harvey says he has picked up the first down as he goes back with the big tackle Joe McKesker with Spady Thane Kugler and Whitholz in that offensive line McKesker 307 pounds on the left side that was a first down and this will be Harvey 
Inside Tennessee's 30, battling his way for a gain of five yards, tackled by Kimbrough to the 26-yard line. It will be second down and five. Nothing, nothing the score. To the end zone. Now back to the overhead. Harvey in motion. The pass incomplete. Here again, he's trying to hit the quick slant. Yeah, they've been very conservative. Mixer plays very well, John, and, but uh, no, nothing big. Just hit the quick passes and keep the running game alive. He threw it, threw it behind him that time, but he was pretty well covered anyway. Intended for Atkinson. It's third down five. Garza on the option. That's Ziegler. He stopped short of the first down. Ziegler went for the quarterback, and Garza had no chance to make the pitch. And let's take another look. Well, you take the pitch away from Garza. He's not really what you would think is a running quarterback. He wants to throw the ball and get rid of it when he can, but he will keep it. He kept it there. He saw a little daylight, but he came up short. It's he, Jeff Francis is the quarterback. That's the screen. Miller, 40. Miller, Miller, still on his feet, working his way for a big game. 21 yards, it's Jeff Francis to Anthony Miller. And the Volunteers work that quick screen once again. Well, this quick screen, John, has been a big play for the balls this year. They set it up very well out there, get the ball to Miller, and they see the blockers, they get in front of him, good position, get a good block there. A couple more, he's, there's a good block for him, and he gets tripped up a little bit, but uh, by the time they react, he's picked up good yardage. A 21-yard uh, gain for Tennessee. It's first and 10 at the minor 38-yard line. No score. Panuska. Five-yard gain. Tennessee going with Francis at quarterback. Panuska is the tailback. Wilson the fullback. The wideouts are Miller, Cleveland, and Clink Scales. Tight end when he comes in is Hendricks, and that means Tennessee will have two wideouts at that time. The Vols now have two tight ends in the game. Middlebrook's left, Hendricks right. Panuska. Not a whole lot. Driving straight ahead. Tennessee has in that offensive line Simons, Galbraith, Robinson, Bruin, and Wilkerson. Panuska this time gets right at three, so it will be third down and two. UTEP does a good job playing that. He comes off the top of the eye and really has no running room in there at all. So Tennessee back to the eye, and Howard is in there at tailback, and this is he. William Howard, and he's got a crashing first down for the Volunteers through the left side. comes in with a total in three games of 310 yards. Big Howard, Big Howard knows what he wants, and that's a first down, John. He gets right here. He just sticks his head down and powers it in there to get the necessary yardage. Good so it's first and 10 for Tennessee. This far. And I believe the left guard, uh, left tackle, I should say, defensively violated the neutral zone, and so there will be illegal procedure against Tennessee is the call. So the Volunteers draw him off sides. And it's for Tennessee first down in 15. Nothing to nothing the score. Panuska shifts up. Four-man front. Wilson runs back to the left side. Let's take another look, Bill. Well, we get a good block. He gets around, to, turns the corners, able to turn it up field, and the halfback has to knock him out of bounds. It was first and 15. That's a 13-yard gain, making it second and two at the 17-yard line. Panuska at tailback. And Wilson rams straight ahead for a gain of four and another first down. To the 13-yard line, Tennessee nothing. El Paso nothing, but it's a first down for Charles Wilson, who's a junior from Pritchard, Alabama. Reves warming up in hopes that Tennessee will get in position perhaps for an extra point, if not a field goal, with the ball resting at the 13-yard line. Two tight ends, Tennessee very conservative. Padaska twisting and turning his way for yardage. From the 13 to the 10, where Purity and Cooper make the stop. Three-yard gain. It's second and seven for the first, 10 for the score. Howard replaces Panuska. Howard. Lunging for about three yards on the play. It will become third down and four. 
There is no score in this game. And Tennessee staying on the ground. Howard with the pitch. Battles down beyond the, the five-yard line. Now Tennessee has to get it close to the three for the first. Well, that have, that's how much Tennessee needs. A little less than a yard. And what will Tennessee do? Well, Tennessee's going to try for the first down. But just as they do, El Paso wants to talk about it, and so also talking will be Jeff Francis. There is no score in the game. And Tennessee is in that power eye set with Howard the tailback. Howard, off tackle? I don't know. Excellent defensive play off the corner by Evans. And let's see, Bill, that will be very close. Yes, it is. Utah stuffed the hole in there real well. Howard tried to slip to the outside, but the halfback come up and stuck him there. I don't know whether he got it or not. Well, he did not get it. Tennessee has stopped inside the five-yard line. So Texas El Paso thwarts the first scoring opportunity in the first period. And uh, the Miners get it for the second time in the game at their own four-yard line. This is Dixon straight up the middle. He's got running room out to the nine-yard line. Gain of five. UTEP, if it's had a problem this year, turnovers have been a problem. They've lost the ball 10 times on fumbles and have thrown for 11 interceptions. This will be Dixon again. Hit, fumble, scramble for the football, and Tennessee has it. Well, that's the one thing they didn't want to do. They jumped into the wishbone down there and close on their end of the field, trying to be very conservative, John, just punch it down there and get a little running room, but they've turned it over. And Charles Davis recovers. Here's another look, and let's see who makes the pop. There you see Dixon. Here's Tennessee reacting, and there causing the fumble is Darren Miller, number 45, and alertly Charles Davis pounces upon it. A third look. There, Miller puts a hat right on it and pops it out. And you see the ball coming out, and Charles Davis is on top of it right there rolling into your picture, so Tennessee's right back in business, first down and 10 at the 14. This is Howard scrambling his way close to the three or four yard line, and that will be very close to a first down. There is no score in the game. Tennessee with Jeff Francis at quarterback. Jim Miller is in there now as full at fullback. He's a senior. Francis wants to throw. Here's the pass. It is complete. That's Terrence Cleveland fighting his way very, very close to a first down. I believe that he got it. Terrence Cleveland, a freshman from Sweetwater, Tennessee. Well, it's just a little flat route here. It takes a long time. Francis finally gets the ball delivered. It's underthrown a little bit. He has to come back. Almost goes down, but he's able to keep his balance and picks up the first down. That's a good second effort. 154-pound Terrence Cleveland. Tell us he's got it first down and goal. Nothing to nothing the score. In motion, Wilson. Pitch, Howard. Howard, give him six. Touchdown, Big Orange. Tennessee, after recovering the fumble at the 14-yard line, takes it in in for a three plays. Pitch. Tennessee started a little motion the other way. UTEP moved with it, and then they came right at it with the power pitch going outside, and Howard takes it in. That's his fifth touchdown this year, and Tennessee jumps on front six to nothing, and here's Reves to attempt the extra point. And that's Garman holding, not Sanders. Sanders normally the holder. Bob Garman will hold. The kick is up. UTEP, so the Miners punt, and Tennessee's back on offense. First down and 10 at the Volunteer 31-yard line. Here's that screen. Miller, 35. Miller, 40. Miller out. Uh, finally rolled down at about the 44-yard line. So very, very quick. Anthony Miller, Pasadena, California. A bit irked, I think, that he did not break it for bigger yardy. But as it is, it's a gain of 13. Well, they do that off a little play action out there and setting it up. And Miller right here, you can see somebody gets a hold of him enough right here, just enough to slow him down, John, to where he can't really bust it and is able to get caught from behind there. And making the tackle from behind was Big Lynch, but Tennessee out at the Volunteer 44, leading 7 to nothing, first down and 10. Jeff Francis, handoff. Not a whole lot for a diving Jim Miller. Got four yards. Terry stops. It will be second down and six. 
Miller, his first carry. He is averaging over five yards per carry this year as a senior. Ten carries, 51 yards. Got right at four on that first attempt in this game. Vando Davis is in there now, a tailback for Tennessee. Well, that is not Vando. That is Pete Panuska carrying the ball over the right side. And Panuska goes for five yards before he's tackled by Cooper. There's the pitch, and here's Panuska. Second look, you get a pretty good uh, hold in there. Nothing uh, great, but uh, Tennessee so far in the ball game has uh, kept the kept everything as far as their offense is concerned. Very conservative. Keith Davis, Tennessee's uh, outstanding tailback. As you see, it's not a first down. It'll be third and short. Is not playing in the game. Did work out some earlier this week and is in uniform for the game, but in all probability will not see service. Tennessee for the first down, yeah. Diving comes William Howard, catapulting over the right side of the line for the first down. So William Howard makes it. Good offensive line blocking there. They lay everybody down. Howard almost came down on them, right on his head. Nice job, though. So it's first down as Howard now has carried the ball 10 times already for 38 yards. Screen, Miller. Well, I don't know. Not much this time. He was fortunate to get back to the line of scrimmage. The pass was complete to Miller for a two-yard gain, actually. Get around there again. They're going back to the other side with the same quick screen type play. Uh, this time, UTEP recognizes it. Uh, it they didn't hide it very well, John. They've got all kinds of white shirts up there right all, all over Miller. Second down and eight. A look at the north end zone at Neyland Stadium as the volunteers on second and eight. Pitch Vando Davis. Well, he slowed and stopped. Might have lost a yard as Williams played that perfectly from his outside linebacking position. And Tennessee is faced with third down and nine, leading seven to nothing. Well, we get another run here. Vando's coming off the top of the eye. He really doesn't have any place to go. Of course, he, just to get man-on-man -man blocking across the line, try to find some daylight. There wasn't any there that time. For Tennessee, third down. Now back to nine yards to go. Over the ball will be Robinson, the center from Woodbury, Tennessee. Francis looking. Good protection pass. Complete. Clint Scales for the first down. Joey Clink Scales catches his 15th pass of the year. Well, here again, the offensive line doing a good job. Francis got plenty of time back there. He sits in there and waits on Clink Scales. It's a long time to develop, but he picks him up coming across the middle and makes a nice throw in there. We can see it right here. That's a nice throw, putting it right in his hands. An outstanding camera work from everybody, including that sideline, and then right back to the end zone. Tennessee first down. Lunging through the right side of the line. That will be Panuska who's back in there for a gain of six yards on the play. Blocking that time, Bruin and Wilkerson on the right side. Also big 63 leading. That's Phil Stewart, who's a sophomore from Johnson City, Tennessee. 79, Eric Still from Germantown, Tennessee, in there in the offensive line. Second and four. With an audible. The pass is incomplete. It was intended for Kennard McGuire. It will be third and four. The ball rests at the minor 16 yard line. Tennessee using a lot of people in this game. And Francis looks over that defense that's jumping around back to throw. Out of the pocket, throws complete. Panuska on the receiving end of the third down pass jolts his way to the two yard line. Francis back gets some pressure there. John has to run out of the pocket. Now that's a nice throw again. He hits uh, Panuska right in there, right in the stomach. And the running back crashes his way down to the two yard line. A third look from the end zone. Trying to turn it up the field and get the most uh, he could out of it. So, Tennessee will have it. First and goal. Howard back in there at tailback. This is Howard. Gets the block. 
give in six. Touchdown, Big Owen. Howard picks up his second touchdown of the game, and here you'll take another look from the end zone as Howard... Great power. He gets a block or two there, John. This is almost, if he gets just a little bit of block there to open the crease, he can get a yard or two almost every time. Let's see. It will be Garmin holding for the extra point attempt by Carlos Reves. Zacchino is the snapper. Tennessee leading 13 to nothing. Snap. Well, it's bobbled a little bit, and it is no good. Off to the left. point attempt is no good so Reves has missed two this year let's take another look at the touchdown by William Howard right, there's a good Green really pelting down pretty heavily right now as UTEP has moved with the ball it will be third down and fourth at Tennessee 18 back to throw as Garza hit fumble Tennessee has recovered the ball Marco Vanek the junior from Yorktown, Virginia. Let's take another look, Bill. Well, he gets pretty good time in there, John. Obviously, downfielder doing a good job. He can't find anybody to throw to, and bang, there comes Hovannik, gets him from the backside and knocks it loose. And so Tennessee comes up with its second recovery. There you see Hovannik. What a lick. Oh, the there. ball bounces free. And now the Vols are battling for possession. Bennett at 95, I believe, will get credit for the recovery as Hovannik shook the ball free. Tennessee leading 13 to nothing. Francis at quarterback. The pitch. Howard. Howard carries the ball to the right side. In 12 carries now, he's picked up 49 yards. That one good for nine. That's just a basic... Bread and butter play, John. They run that so many times with Harrod. He makes a good move there. He's closed up inside. He, he likes to slide and slip to the outside and uh, take those defensive backs one-on-one, -on -one and he can put his head down and pick up some yardage. We probably talk about it too much, but that's just beautiful, beautiful camera work. Left side, there you see a penalty marker flying. As carrying the ball through the left side comes Wilson. Tennessee now in the backfield offensively has used Howard. Panuska, Vando Davis at tailback, Wilton, and Miller, the fullback. Tennessee, back to throw is Francis. Screen pass complete out here to Panuska. Oh, Panuska is dropped as he carries it forward. Tennessee was penalized 10 yards earlier for holding. That was a second down and 11. Panuska really got no gain on the play, and you can look at the north end. It was full a moment ago. People are scurrying to get out of the rain. Back to throw. Panuska across the middle. It's complete. In traffic, Clink Scales makes the reception. There again, Francis has good time in there. The offensive line, everybody's sitting in there doing their job. Takes a pretty good while for this play to develop for Joy to come all the way across the field. Man's riding him pretty good on the back, but he makes a nice catch. He is about one yard short of a first, however. That's how far short he is. 66, Todd Kirk is in there at the pivot for Tennessee. Now Zacchino is in there as the ball's on fourth down. We'll have Garmin to punt. A little pressure gets it away. Evans, fumble! Well, he protects the ball. And so Tennessee goes on defense, leading by a score of 13 to nothing nearing the end of the first half of the game. Garza, back to throw. There it is, incomplete. The man came open momentarily. That was Cassidy, the tight end. But the pass was overthrown, another marker down, and it was illegal procedure, this time against El Paso. Tennessee declines. It will be second and 10 at the 31-yard line in Texas El Paso territory. UTEP pass, left side complete. Slipping and falling. After making the reception is Holmes. There's another penalty marker down on this play. Well, UTEP is going to try the screen themselves. A little quick screen out here, but uh, not a, he had to wait on the ball too much. Tennessee had reacted very well to it. Not much for him. Peppers makes the tackle. 
Dale Jones is communicating with the Tennessee coaching staff on the sideline to determine if the volunteers will decline or accept. Tennessee accepts a 10-yard penalty for holding. Second and 20. Garza on a draw. Harvey breaks one tackle. Kramer wraps him up, and then McDaniel up, helps out of the tackle. That's Marion Hobby over there for Tennessee defensively. As Tennessee's using a lot of people in that defensive line. White hit 91. That's Hobby chasing. Reyes is also playing. There's Kramer, and there's McDaniel. There's Dale Jones trailing, and still short of the first down. Garza. Long pass. It is incomplete. Stride for stride. Tennessee had it covered well. By a score of 13 to 9 in the third quarter as UTEP comes out. Intercepted Tennessee. Terry Brown. The third down pass thrown into a crowd, but really they doubled Tennessee with a little route on the near side, and Brown stepped up right in the middle. Bill? Well, we get uh, Garza coming out here with it, and like you said, John, uh, they tried to flood the zone over there a little bit, but Brown uh, makes a good move there. Probably shouldn't have thrown the ball, but nevertheless, Brown's in good position, makes the interception. And so the return of 12 yards gives Tennessee the ball as we take from the end zone another look at the reaction of the secondary, the play of Terry Brown. So Brown picks off his second interception of the year, and Tennessee sets the screen, flipping it out into the flat. And carrying the ball forward for Tennessee on the play. Off the screen comes Vando Davis for a gain of six yards. Vando Davis, he a freshman from Wilmington, Delaware. Great speed, a member of the University of Tennessee track team, as is defensive back Terry McDaniel. There's the second look at the screen. Catch and run by the tailback. Tennessee, second down four, leading 13 to nothing. Davis tries the middle. Nothing there this time. Met by Griggs. Lando Davis, who coming into the game, had carried the ball but twice, but for 36 yards. His first effort was a 37-yard sprint against Auburn last week in the second half. Francis. Complete. Reception made by the tight end, Tim Hendricks. A gain of 10 yards on the play, and that will be sufficient for the first down. Offensive line again, John. Francis has great time in there. He's wanting to go downfield, I think, and probably then after he can't find anybody open, he comes off of it and uh, picks his outlet man over there on the sideline. So jealousy is moved for the first down right at the 40-yard line. Of Texas El Paso, Bando Davis slashing, slithering, spinning, driving. Got five yards on the play. Morgan made the tackle, but Bando Davis makes it second down and five. There again, that's just the same play that you see Howard running so much. Bando's probably not as strong a runner as uh, Howard, but he picks up some pretty good yardage there by just uh, slipping and twisting and breaking loose from, from some arm tackle. Out in front, the ever-present Jim Miller making the block to spring him. Tennessee second and five at the minor 35-yard line, leading in the game 13 to nothing. Bando Davis gets a block from Miller, cuts inside the block, and gets close to five more yards. I believe that he was able to break the plane of the 30-yard line, which will give him a first down. Quick pitch with Miller leading again. The offensive lineman going out, and uh, but you can see the white shirts. They react very well that time, but I think he twists and bites ahead far enough to pick up the first down. And it will be first down and 10 to go for Tennessee, leading 13 to nothing in the third quarter. Francis has gone all the way at quarterback. This is Davis again. Maybe two yards. Williams and Wright on the tackle at the 28-yard line. Davis now has carried the ball six times for 24 yards in the game. Davis pops it up the middle. Tennessee blocking up front. We'll check to see who the pivot man is. 79 is in there. That's still 63 is Stewart. Davis breaking an arm tackle and carrying the ball for a draw and nine yards and it's a first down at the 19. 
Well, Davis again, he's carried the ball five straight times. This time a gain of two. Second and eight at the 17 yard line. Tennessee leads 13 to nothing. Francis appears to be changing the play call at the line. Vando, well, nothing at all. That's Williams. Fred Williams, number 44. So it's fourth down for Tennessee, and pretty good stick right here. Boy, well, Vando really takes a shot. He's trying to cut it inside, and he catches helmet to helmet. Fourth down, and Tennessee will get into the game. Carlos, well, wait a minute. Back to throw its third down. This will be Francis. Well, it's incomplete. Now it will be fourth down. It was intended, really, sort of a desperation type. For you. Tennessee now leads by a score of 16 to nothing. This is Texas El Paso with Garza throwing downfield. Complete, what a catch! Great catch downfield as Garza throws to Sia. And Sia makes the grab. McDaniel tackles, but that is a fine throw, Bill Anderson. Well, it is. Of course, Garza's got a strong arm, John. He comes back there. They do a good job protecting for him this time. Sia's coming in there on a turn in, and he leads him a little bit more than he would like to have had it, but really is about the only place he can throw the ball without uh, an orange shirt getting in the way. So it's a first down with the score 16 0, and UTEP has the ball at the Tennessee 27 yard line. Trying the left side, this time it was Combs, Ziegler, the linebacker from Miami making the tackle. Ziegler missed the first game for Tennessee, but since that time he's right up there among the leaders in stops. Third down, Tennessee leading, back to throw Garza. Dumps the pass, intercepted Ziegler. Ziegler, after a big tackle on a running play, comes right back with an interception. His first interception of the year. And let's take a second look. That was an excellent job by Ziegler, John, over there in perfect position. Actually, Garza should not have thrown the ball. And he was trying to slip it to his back, coming on a little circle route up the sideline, as maybe we can see here. And he lobs the ball, which leaves it hanging up there. Ziegler pick, picks it out with one hand. Good hands for a linebacker. <laughs> there you see the outstanding play by Kelly Ziegler. And Tennessee goes back on offense. That's the fourth turnover. Very, very costly to El Paso. Tennessee, the pitch. Well, Davis making his cut. Slips and falls. So there's a loss on the play of a yard. And it will become second down and 11. Tennessee leads in this game by a score of 16 and nothing at Shields Watkins Field. That's Miller on the reverse. Looking for the east side. Hemmed in. No, he won't get anything. Very, very well played on the corner by Evans first. Then Baker comes up. And Anthony Miller on the reverse actually loses a yard. So it becomes third down and 12. Francis. Incomplete, intending it for Cleveland and getting a hand on the ball for UTEP defending was Webster. So here's Garman in to punt. Tennessee leads 16 to nothing. And El Paso's had good field position really throughout the game, but four turnovers have cost them. The reception, the return, and moving back upfield with the ball. Tackled by Zacchino, who made the snap. 45-yard punt, 10 yards on the return. Sammy Garza, and quarterback's gone all the way. Looks, pass downfield, complete. Garza, in the middle of Tennessee's zone, splits them with a beautiful throw and a catch by Harold Collins, who's a freshman. And has now caught on the year 15 passes. Bill? Garza's got pretty good touch on the ball. He has to lay that ball. Well, that's a soft pass. He laid it right over the up defender and just in front of the deep man, right in the crease of the zone. Good throw. And Poole, number 13, made the tackle, but here's El Paso again threatening. And then wrapping him up and throwing him for a loss, Marion Hobby. We mentioned Marion Hobby earlier. He is from Irondale, Alabama, a freshman. Garza 
Ooh, they had that one played all the way. He had no chance. Harvey was the man who was trying to carry the ball. Whitehead also in there defensively. As Tennessee, as we've mentioned, using a lot of people defensively and offensively as well in this game. So Garza with his team faced. Second and 14. There's the pass. It's complete. This time the catch is made by Collins again for a gain of 10. Ziegler there on the tackle. Good you, protection. UTEP's doing a pretty good job for Garza. He moves out, trying to get a, buy a little more time, and he finally finds Collins out on the sideline and gets it to him. Poole and Ziegler on the stop. Third down four. Tennessee leading by a score of 16 to nothing. Garza pass. Incomplete. Brown had a hand on the ball. That one could have been very easily been intercepted. Tennessee's coming at him with the blitz here, John. I think he sees the blitz, and he wants to get rid of that ball right away. He certainly threw it uh, before he should have. And it was Brown getting a hand on the ball, just a little out of position to make his second interception of the game. Fourth down and four and a half, five yards to go, and so into the game to attempt the extra point will be Jack. Kick. It is up. that extra point at that uh, field goal it was a 48 yard successful attempt and Tennessee now leads by 13 again it's 16 to 3 at halftime it was 13 to nothing so each team has a field goal and kicking off will be jacket here he comes and here's the kick Miller 5 10 15 20 25 the 29 yard line a penalty marker is down as Anthony Miller returns the kickoff for 23 yards face mask violation against UTEP Tennessee with the ball Francis off play action in trouble running out of bounds after picking up four yards Very slow developing there. And then of course, come out on the swing. Looks like he sits in there a little too long. The defender is able to beat the blocker coming out and gets inside of him and uh, breaks the play up. For Tennessee, it will be second down, six yards to go. Leading in the game, third quarter nearing its conclusion. 16 to 3, the Volunteers on top. Wilson to the corner, turn, scrambles, fights, might have gotten a first down out of that. Charles Wilson from Pritchard, Alabama. Swinging around the left side of the line. And picks up eight yards. He's carried four times, 25 yards. Bill? Doesn't look like he has very much there. He break, pulls away from one there, but he should. Stops Tennessee. The Volunteers go for the field goal, and it was made good. 53 yards by Carlos Rivez. So Tennessee leads 19-3, to and Rivez, who's been a little spasmodic this year after a sensational junior year, has hit one field goal of 53, and earlier, of course, the one you saw from 38 yards away. Illegal procedure on the play against uh, the Miners, so it becomes first and 15 at the 13-yard line. Garza, the pitch, this will be Harvey. 15, dies forward, fumbles the ball, but I believe he was down. He was down before the fumble occurred. A gain on the play of five, and it will become second down and ten. Let's take another look, Bill. Well, that's a little bit of an option. It's kind of slow developing there. It gives the defense a chance to react, John. You can see... Well, they ruled it the ball. He was down when the ball came loose. We really couldn't tell from the pitch. Uh, Terry Brown does not agree. He's a volunteer in orange, wearing number 14. So it's second down and 10. Garza. Lots of time. On target. Complete to Parker. Garza throws. Parker catches. 22-yard gain. Peppers and Davis covering. Here's Sammy Garza. Oh, they give him plenty of time back there. You let a good passer like this sit in there, he'll find somebody, and he's right on target with the toss. And so it will be first down 
and 10 to go for UTEP, overcoming a five-yard penalty on first down. It was first and 15. They overcome that. It's now first and 10 at the 40. And here, rambling through the left side of the line, comes Combs. And Nicky Combs, 5'7", 191, senior Tyler, Texas, carries the ball for Yardy. Here you see him cutting back, big blocking up front there by James Spady. And carrying the ball for a nine-yard gain was Combs. It's second out a yard to go. On a waist down, the pass complete. That's a first down as the catch is made by Atkinson, who is the tight end, relieving the starter, Cassidy. And so trailing by a score of 19 to 3, El Paso is moving. There again, this is just a dump pass over there, just enough to get yardage to get the first down, right in front of the linebackers. He really takes some pretty good shots, but uh, a very high percentage pass. First down and 10 at the 43-yard line. Stars are looking. The pass downfield is overthrown. It was intended once more for Atkinson. Tennessee protecting with Andre Kramer, number one, the Baltimore junior. Second and ten. Garza moves out of the pocket, rips the pass, complete. That's Parker again. McDaniel rides him out of bounds, but Parker comes up with his second reception. And that one's good for 17 yards. Well, here again, Garza does a good job. Tennessee's coming at him with the blitz he moves to his right to get away from the blitz to buy a little more time and he finds Parker out in the flat so Parker had one catch for 22 this one for 17 now here trapping through the left side of the line driving forward comes Bonds and he's got another first down as Tommy Bonds picks up his 17th yard uh, in three carries. This one's good for 11 yards. A little bit of misdirection again. That's uh, Auburn hurt Tennessee very badly with that type of play. I think UTEP, uh, I don't know whether that's one of their basic plays. If not, they've looked at some film, but they've had good success uh, here with it today. All the way to the Tennessee 15 yard line. It's first down and 10. Drives forward for five yards, and it will be second down, five to go for the first down, ten to go for a touchdown. Lots of time left to go in this game. Another look. The blocking up front. It's a pretty good block, and Tennessee had not gone into their goal line defense yet, and there was some pretty good running room in there. Second down, five. Tennessee leading. Struggling forward for what appears to be a first down will be Bonds. Moving inside the five, and that's enough for the first. It's got to be first down and goal to go for the Miners. There again, they come back with basically the same play, John. They're just trying to get enough yardage in there. Tennessee, it still was not in the goal line defense. They're moved, they have moved into it now. It'll be a little tougher to run inside. So it's first down and goal. Tennessee leading in the game 19 to 3. Garza, pass, incomplete. Carson realizes it's going to be tougher inside. I think he comes out with the pass, but he overthrows. Intended for the tight end, Cassidy. They break the wishbone. This is Bond slanting the right side. Ziegler, number 49 on the tackle. Third down, and we'll let you see how much. First of all, we'll let you see the play by Ziegler on the run by Bond. They stop it pretty good there, John. He doesn't make much at all. Fred Bennett, 95, also in there for Tennessee. Another look for the end zone, as you'll see Ziegler reacting well, lowers the head, makes the hit. Gets a good wide base, sticks his helmet right on. Third down goal. Tennessee leads 19-3. Garza, he did not score. He stretches out and reaches the ball past the double stripe. But the ball will be marked just inside the one-yard line. Here you see Sammy Garza on the option, cutting back. Kimbrough, 82, there battling for Tennessee defensively. Garza is not a strong running back, uh, running quarterback like uh, some that Tennessee has seen. So here, UTEP diving, touchdown for the Miners. John Harvey scores. And so UTEP moves 82 yards in 13 plays. And uh, this is now a 10-point game. 
Here you'll see the dive by Harvey, and he rides right in there behind Bonds, 36, who makes the lead block. And so here's El Paso going for two to try to make it an eight-point game. It is no good. The two-point try, no good, and Parker doesn't like the call. But the official who had the good angle says the lead foot comes down on the sideline. That's out of bounds. Let's take another look. Well, he's coming across there, and he leads him. Tennessee will have the football as the Volunteers now lead 19 to 9. Give on the reverse, Miller. 30, 25, 20. Anthony Miller. This time on the reverse, coming back to the short side. And Tennessee, which began this drive after the El Paso touchdown, has moved it to the 16-yard line of the Miners. Let's take a look. Well, they get the motion going that way, but you can see Miller gets on the gets the ball early. It doesn't take so long to develop. He can turn the corner, gets a couple of good blocks there, and uh, makes a nice run out, out of it. Leading the way downfield for Tennessee, big number 75, John Bruin. Now Tennessee, this time the give is to Wilson. Wilson on the reverse. To the one-yard line. So Tennessee runs the wing back off the power eye set back across. A little misdirection, as Bill has pointed out. Let's take another look. Well, this one, of course, he's just got all the blockers up there, bringing him back to the weak side into the boundary, and good job of running there by Wilson. 35, Howard made a big block on the corner, and Charles Wilson takes it down to the one-yard line, where Tennessee has it first down and goal to go. In that power eye, and number 35, William Howard, has two touchdowns in the game. He's the standing tailback. This is he. Touchdown, Tennessee. William Howard, his third touchdown of the game, his seventh of the season. And he is certainly one of the leaders in the Southeastern Conference in scoring, if not the individual scoring leader. And there you see the Lima, Ohio, Jr., Diving in to score, and here will be Ravage with Sanders holding for this extra point try. It's perfect. So Tennessee now leads by a score of 25 to 9. And Ravage will be kicking off. Here comes the senior from Miami. Hits it well. It's taken at the goal line. Back of field, this will be Parker. Breaking it, Parker all the way to the 34-yard line. Excellent return by Parker, who's had a very fine game, returning kickoffs, and as a pass receiver as well. So, it's now 26, 25 to nine, Chelsea leading. Should be 26 to nine. And is, 26 to nine is the score. Pass complete. So UTEP comes right back on Tennessee with Collins making the catch of Garza's nine-yard aerial thrust, and it becomes second down and three. A second look. Well, here again, Garza's going to the short route. John, the halfbacks are laying off a little bit, but uh, those uh, kind of plays are good when you just have enough yardage, need a little yardage to get a first down, but Tennessee's kind of playing a little bit soft now, uh, late in the ball game. Leading 26 to nine. In motion, the wing back to throw Garza looking for that man across the middle. It's complete. And that was the man who went in motion who made the catch upfield for the Miners, Randy Hansen, a junior from Houston, Texas. That's enough for the first down. Draw. Outside. Bond, 50, 45, 40. Written down by Ziegler. But it's Tommy Bonds for 17 yards to the volunteer 37-yard line, and the Miners come rolling back, trailing 26 to 9. Tennessee with a four-man front. Back to throw, Garza. Swings out, bang, from behind. Here comes Whitehead. A sack, a loss of seven. Garza feels the pressure coming from behind and rolls away from it. He does a good job of doing of that and trying to buy extra time, but that time he just couldn't find anybody open down there and had to take the sack. So it will be second and 17. Garza flips. It's complete. Harvey makes the catch. Flipped out of bounds by Poole. And 
that stops the clock as Tennessee leads 26 to 9 but El Paso battling right down to the wire Garza pressured is going to be sacked there's a marker down a penalty flag has flown as Tennessee gets to Garza this time with Marion Hobby with Mark Hovannik and Whitehead also here you see also blitzing from the left side defensively was Ziegler and Tennessee I think is going to draw a penalty it will be against the volunteers five yards offsides so Tennessee gets to the quarterback but they might have gotten a head start they obviously did so instead of being third down and long it's third down and two and battling for the first down not to be denied was Tommy Bonds Jones had him, Ziegler helped, but not until he had carried the ball for five yards, and it will be first down and 10 at the volunteer 24-yard line. Jones never could quite get under control, stayed with him, and then got help from Ziegler, but not until the first down was negotiated. Now Garza back to throw. Long pass, the man is there, touchdown, El Paso. Garza throws, complete to Bonds. Seven plays, 66 yards, and here's a second look. Well, they give him plenty of time again. Bonds is a uh, halfback coming out of the backfield. He gets through the line and just runs it right up the middle of the field and is wide open. And so, Texas El Paso scores. They go for the extra point with Jack A in there. It is up, and it is good. So, the Volunteers hold on to win the final score. Tennessee 26, Utah. 16. We'll be back with comments from the Vol Locker Room after this message from your local sponsors. 